My name is Ian Jordan. I'm the executive chef here at the City of Liverpool College. I'm responsible for the Academy restaurants and the di I'm doing a dish today um, showing the principles, classic principles of fish poaching. Now, I'm sure in other videos you'll have seen, again at level two standard, how to fillet a flat fish. You'll get four fillets from a flat fish. And I'm today using lemon sole of two fillets, Nice, clean. I'm going to lightly season these fillets. Fold. So we've got two nice folded fillets. That's the noise delice. Sole's not the only fish that can be poached. We can do exactly the same with place. We could do salmon. Salmon can be cut into suprems, which means there's no bone, or into darns, but it's cut through the bone. The poaching technique is always the same, although it can be changed. So for example, I could poach this in a pan with some stock and some wine, leave it covered, four or five minutes, it'll be ready. Or I can poach in the oven, which creates a steam effect also. And that's what I'm gonna do with this, with this particular fish. So the classic method is to have a small dish, whichever one's suitable. This is lightly buttered. I'm going to take a little bit of chopped shallots, sprinkle a little bit of chopped shallots on the base. Now I'm only doing two fillets, you know, as a, we would like it with a starter portion. I'm going to put the delice straight on. You'll always have one delice that's slightly smaller, but that, that's accepted. This side. Now, I've already made a little bit of fish stock. And this was made from the fish bones that was taken from the fish. So I'm going to take a little bit of the fish stock. Just enough to, to fill the base. Doesn't need to be too deep. And I'm also going to add a little bit of white wine. Now, you can put white wine into the stock itself. But more often than not, you put the white wine on separately. Now for this fish to poach, I tend to use, in the kitchen we use a lot of butter. So I have this thing where I tend to keep the butter papers which you use as a foil cover, form of a cartouche. So you're not having to use grease proof. So that, that's now going to go into the oven. It's going to take about four to five minutes till the fish is cooked. Once the fish is cooked, the resulting liquor will be made to use the sauce and be good to be a classical Von Blanc sauce, a white wine sauce. So now this is going over. So now we've got its cover. This is ready for the oven. This will go in for approximately five minutes. Straight in. It's a fan oven. We can leave that. Once that's done, we will then make the sauce. Right, so now our fish is ready. Nicely poached. So now we need to make the sauce. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a cloth, a little dish, pull off for one, one minute. Down there, fish is hot. Now obviously the J cloth is going to um, soak up any excess moisture. And to keep the fish hot, I think like film. Just keep, keep the fish nice and warm. Okay. Now we've got a hot pan. We're going to make the sauce. So to make the sauce, the cooking liquid goes straight in. And straight away, you've got a reduction. So rather than waiting for that to heat through, we're making a reduction now. Now, I've got butter, I've got cream, I'm going to make a simple sauce from Blanc, a basic white wine sauce. We've already got fish stock in here, we've got the white wine. I'll give a little taste now and see if that white wine is sufficient. Maybe a little bit touch more. All chefs like a little bit more wine. Just one amount more. 
turn up to reduce. We want it to reduce by approximately half. Now, classically, this would reduce. We'd have a volute made as well, which is a thickened stock. But there's no need to win for a small amount like this. Modern practice is to either do where we just use butter, or once this is reduced a little bit more, we have some cream. Okay. Bring that to the boil, let that season. Okay, so now I want this to reduce to get the right consistency. It won't take that long. And then I'll finish it with some butter. And that's what we call Monte Beer to mount with butter. So while that's ready, we're going to do a very simple garnish. And that is a julienne. And basically, this is basic skills, level one skills. This is a julienne of leek and a julienne of carrot. Very simple. I'm going to blanch it. Small amounts. We won't utilize all that. That will take now about 30 seconds. Now you can see my sauce is not far off. But it's nearly there. I'm going to take that down. I think it's put it to one side for a minute. Julienne, quickly blanched. Let me take that off. Let's put on our J-cloth. We don't need that now. So you can see now we've got sauce consistency of single cream. So now we'll take a little bit of butter. Let's put this under the lamp. And we take little knobs of butter and we drop in. That's Monte Beer. That's some mount with butter. This will enrich the sauce. Now again, I can use the sauce as it is with the shallots in it, flavor, or I can pass it, and I will. For this sauce, I'll, we'll actually pass it. Okay, so sauce is ready. Let's get myself a chinois, a small one. Check the sauce again. Big chinua for a small amount, but we'll put that through. As you see, I tasted it again, so I know that the sauce is, is fine, ready to go. Well, that's one way. And now we're ready to serve. Everything's ready, sauce is ready. Fish, we plate. So, take our fish, the cling film, it's kept it really nice and hot. Any excess liquid has been absorbed by the J cloth. Let me just check, make sure it's okay. It's fine. In the center of the plate. Put that to one side. Sauce is ready. So we'll just. There you go, the consistency of single cream. They've got a nice shine to it. more than enough and very simply to finish off that's the Van Blanc sauce as it is and the julienne I've had a little bit of butter to it let's lift this up and very simply fillet the sauce Van Blanc julienne garnish